I guess all of you know this girl over here. Um, yeah, this girl is me. I went on a honeymoon alone and I made uh, history and I became a trend. I became a wild sensation. Pele honeymoon ki baat karte. Ye honeymoon pe mera miya nahi ja sake. Koi masla ho gaya tha, visa nahi mila. To main Santroni ki vadiyon mein ghum rahi thi aur mere miya ghar pe baithe, pyare afzal dekh rahe the. It is not a joke. It is actually true. He's sitting right there. Um, I was getting awe, in awe of this uh, Greek mythology and everything, while my husband was becoming in uh, coming in awe of Hamza Ali Abbasi. And once I came back, I realized what has he done. So after that, we actually covered all the articles, Time magazine, everywhere. My siblings hate me because now my mother believes I'm her favorite because I'm on Time magazine now. And the thing was, ke uske baad sab kuch hua. we won a free trip to honeymoon. So don't feel so bad about my husband. Uh, I took him on a honeymoon then. And, uh, but I'm not here to rub in your face ke ye kya kya hua aur hum maine kitne honeymoon ki hai, which is true. But uh, there's another side to it that I want to talk about. This is going to come as a shock to my parents who are sitting here. Um, my mother-in-law and my husband told me not to read the comments of all the articles that were coming on net. I don't know khuda jaane unho ne kya padha tha, but they didn't let me read those comments. But khudak thi aur dekhna tha, to as soon as I would dive into comments, immediately I'll go back in because those comments were harsh. And abhi jo mein aapko comments dekhaunge, there are just five of them. Um, but it's just a tiny speck of what I had to read when I did start going into it. First was, uh, her face is, I just feel like taking a baseball bat and smashing her face. I can see my mom cringe a little at this. I won't do it in real life, but I just thought of commenting it and for me to read that. Uh, she went alone, what a bitch. Um, after the third picture, I felt like slapping her. The duck face, the reason we need guns. There was someone out there who thought that my picture was the reason he needed a gun. It didn't mean any harm, he just wrote it, but uska kya tha? Maine to pada. And every time I would read this, my defense mechanism was I should not respond, I should not talk about this. But what happened after this was, this, these comments are what is known as cyberbullying. And the term to define that is saying, commenting and writing on internet, nature comments on threatening nature or intimidating nature. I was being cyberbullied and this is just a uh, gist of it. Because I didn't comment, I didn't respond, here's what happened to these cyberbullies. They transgressed into reality. Here's an incident that my father-in-law had to face. He was sitting in a government, in his social circle, mein, and this auntie started talking about his bahu, me, in front of him. He said, yes, that girl is gone, but do you know that she didn't get married? She didn't get married, she didn't get married with her friends. The auntie's confidence was so much that my sister was in doubt that my daughter is married with her daughter. And here's the funny bit. He himself was with me in Greece. He was doubt me that he was with his friends. It was crazy until someone told this woman that you are talking about his father. Immediately she changed her stance. She turned hypocrite. She was like, oh, I heard someone else. I was coming to your wedding. She had attended my wedding. And then she was saying that I wasn't married. Imagine the roller coaster, emotional roller coaster my father-in-law had to go through. But this is what happens. I wonder to myself, had this woman been behind the computer on a keyboard, would she have stopped? Because computer ki piche aapke upar anonymity ka ek parda hota hai. You can do whatever you want. You can be as evil as Lex Luthor and nobody would hold you accountable for that. Which is why. So what happened to me was that I started ignoring them, ignoring them, but they started taking a mental toll on me. I started having anxiety and panic attack. Do you know why? I was scared of the internet. The same place that I got so popular in, I was scared of it. Because I was scared I would come across a comment that said, 
she should kill herself. This comment may seem really stupid to you, but someone somewhere must have said this because I don't need to name names, but there have been girls and boys who have committed suicide because of the same cyberbullying that I was facing. The same net that was giving me so much anger and hate was the same net that was giving me a lot of followers on Snapchat. I gained around 1,500, 2,000 followers. People were following me. As much as I was scared of it, I didn't stop living. I was still posting stuff on on Snapchat. During that time, a Saraha app I thi. I'm sure you guys know of this. It was an app just me app anonymously kuch bhi lek sakte ho. Just for the heck of it, I decided to post something. Ki ye mera username hai. Let's see what happens. My phone was bombarded with all these messages that people were giving me. Let's take a look at there are just two or three of them. There's someone who was going through some trouble in her life and she needed some career directions. She contacted me. There was someone who needed some relationship advice. You'd be surprised the amount of messages that I was getting and people were reaching out to me to ask for help. The net that scared me, I had two options. Ya to main in cheezon ko ignore karti scared of the fact ki agar main in pe koi comment karu ya inko help karne ki koshish karu will i get bashed again ya main inko actually help out karu so these were two extremes what i started to do was i chose the latter and i started helping these girls out these men who wanted relationship advice who wanted to connect to the right people who were lost about their careers uh, uh, kids living in abusive family needed some help to get out and I did have contacts in networking, and that's what I started to do. I started connecting people. I still do it. I talk to people about depression because I suffer from depression myself. So these are the two horizons that I faced. And the one thing that I keep saying to these people was, this too shall pass. So I experienced the two extreme opposites of internet. She should kill herself, to this too shall pass. And this is what exists on internet. This was my journey as I became a wild sensation to the point that I'm a social media activist. Thank you.